hey guys welcome back to the channel so in our last video we modeled and textured this gold brick in maya and substance painter and today we are going to create a pile of these bricks and scatter them on this plane using autodesk maya's mesh instancer so let's take a look at that i'm going to delete everything first here And now I have this uh, brick here and this cube which is working as a floor. And I have this sky dome uh, for lighting. Now I'm going to select this brick and uh, let's change the workspace to general so that we can see our uh, timeline here. So first I'm going to select everything and just go to edit delete by type history now let's select this brick and i'm going to go in the mesh and click here which says create a mesh network now click on this and open this mesh editor i'm going to place it here And I'm going to go in my mesh distribute and change the distribution type to grid and center. Now, if I want to add more bricks in this scene, what I can do is I can increase the number of this grid X, Y, and Z. So if I increase this, So we have now a lot of bricks in our scene i'm going to increase the number of z as well and uh, now you can see that there is no gapping between the bricks so to add some gap uh, you can increase the distance of x y and z i'm going to increase like this i'm going to go in the front view and uh, place them like this and for the y something like this should be fine and uh, for the z go to top view and uh, let's increase the z distance like this Maybe we can add some more in the X and increase the distance like this. And uh, let's select this plane and bring it down here like this. Now select this mesh and uh, go to this plus icon and add a dynamic. In the dynamic you'll have the control over these bricks and how they will react. So if I play this. Now you can see that these bricks are falling down on this floor and scattering. Like this. So what we want to do is that we want our bricks to fall on this plane here. So we have to go to outliner and uh, here you'll see this mesh bullet solver. Click here and here in the collider object, select your floor with your middle mouse button in the outliner and drop it in the collider object. And now let's play this. And now our bricks are interacting with our plane. So if you go to mesh dynamic you can uh, change all these parameters so if you want your object to be more bouncy you can increase the value of this bounce and now let's try to play it and if you don't want to scatter your object far from the center 
what you can do is you can uh, increase this friction and it will fall like this so i'm just going to decrease this friction a little like this and uh, play it again Let's keep the friction to 0.5 and bounce to 0.4 and let's play it. So I'm going to stop it here and this looks good. So I'm just going to go my custom workspace and in the camera. So this is the camera that I've set up. So let's change the scene to something like this and lock this camera i'm going to go in the arnold and render this let's change the lighting a little so i'm going to select my hdri image and start this render and then try to rotate it So this looks good. I'm going to turn down the resolution so that it doesn't take too long to render. And I'm also going to increase the samples here. So that's how you can use Maya's mesh network to create a pile of gold bricks. You can also animate this and maybe we'll see some more tutorials on mesh network in the future on this channel. So I'm going to end this video here and if you like this video then make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.